The drought is forcing all of us to treat water differently, how we use it, how we save it, and where we get it. Here's a source you probably haven't considered. Getting drinking water from thin air. CBS 13's Nick James is live with part four of his five-part series, California, a state of survival. Nick. Christina and Sam, last night we were in Butte County with farmers looking underground for new water. Tonight, we looked to the sky and we heard about this when we had to see it in person, so we took a trip to the Bay Area for a drink of water made out of thin air. It's drought-busting technology that sounds so futuristic, it's right out of Star Wars. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Evaporators? In episode four, released back in 1977, they're called moisture evaporators, devices that create water right out of thin air. Would you believe they're making them today in Pacheco? Bay Area company Ecolo Blue calls their machines atmospheric water generators. And yes, as you're about to see, they make water, purified drinking water, right out of thin air. You feel like you guys are sort of a hidden secret here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, most definitely. After eight years in business, company owner Wayne Ferreira says it took a historic drought for people to finally take notice. And people are starting to realize that they need to make changes and um, you know the water's running out and I'm looking for options. As his guys fire it up. So what it does is it freezes the air going through. Wayne explains the device sucks in air and takes the humidity out. It works sort of like a dehumidifier on steroids. However much wetness or humidity is in the air gets stuck onto the condenser and then the rest of the air is blown out the back. The moisture caught from the air is condensed to water. This company video shows how humidity from the air is turned into water. Then it goes through a filtration process, making it cleaner than any tap water. The machine performs best in hot and humid weather. But Wayne says it will make drinking water even on dry days. Just how much? The company says its industrial units make anywhere from 25 to 2,500 gallons a day. Ecolo Blue's smaller household versions make up to eight gallons a day. For Michael De Benedetto in nearby Walnut Creek, the atmospheric water generator is his sole source of drinking water. It is definitely a part of the solution. He's had it five years and believes it's time others join him. We usually wait until a crisis to do something. And I believe that the atmospheric water generators have, th their, their time has come. The idea would be practical it, depending on how much water is needed. UC Davis professor Ralph Aldridge cautions there are drawbacks. For one, the units are costly, $1,300 and up for the home units, while the industrial versions can run up to 250 grand. Perhaps more importantly, the professor says it takes lots of energy to run atmospheric water generators, especially on a large scale. He says the technology is worth exploring, but says unless water prices increase considerably, the machines alone might not be the solution to our drought. It is worth the cost, certainly on a small scale, but on a larger scale, one has to consider not only the cost of energy, but also the cost of in the infrastructure. Back at Ecolo Blue, we wanted to see how much water was made. From a few hours in the morning and half an hour while we were there, there are easily several gallons in the tank ready to be filtered. That's actually it's quite a bit. Ecolo Blue is working on installing entire water stations in the Middle East and South America to produce 100,000 gallons a day. This is the first atmospheric water station in the world. Wayne envisions a day when the technology will be everywhere. You told me a few minutes ago you think someday this technology will be in just about every home. Yep. Like the microwave. Absolutely. You really I, believe in this? 100%. 100%. There's no reason why it shouldn't. For now, he's content with being part of a futuristic solution to California's historic drought. It's not maybe going to save, but it can certainly help uh, the, uh, the drought that we're having. Ecolo Blue's owner acknowledges the devices do use a good bit of energy, and that's where he says the technology is still in its infancy. He is uh, promising that they are still working on having them use less energy. Well, from the Bay Area back home, tomorrow night we are back in Sacramento with perhaps the most convincing reason we all need to save water, and it comes from a woman 
in Australia. That's tomorrow night on the CBS 13 News at 10. Looking forward to it. All right, Nick Jane's live in the newsroom. Nick, thank you.